Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do some lung function testing on yourself today, some spirometry. Have you had that done before? Uh, no. Super. So before we start that, can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Yep, yeah, it's Abby Tuck, December 4th, December 96. Super. So what lung function testing uh, means is uh, we're going to get you to use this device. We're going to get you to take a full breath in all the way to the bottom of your lungs, as it were, and then breathe out as hard and as fast as you can. And we're going to see how well your lungs are working. OK, yep. so we need to cover a few safety questions before we can actually do the test. Um, have you had a cough at the moment? No. OK. Have you had any recent chest infections? No. OK. Um, and have you ever had problems with your eyes and needed surgery on them? Uh, no. And have you had any chest or abdominal surgery? No. Thank you. Some other um, less common ones. Have you ever had a blood clot at all? No. Okay. And have you ever had a lung collapse? No. Okay. And just for the data, uh, when we put it in, do you smoke at all? No. Super. Okay. In that case, we should be able to go ahead and do the test. So we've got a brand new mouthpiece for yourself. And what we need to do first, we're just going to get you to step over to the side here and we're going to check your vital statistics. So we're going to check your height and weight if you could. So let's go this way. And then step onto the scales. Super. OK, that's grand. And if we just move over to um, get your height. So if you come stand back against here for me. And then come away, please. OK, so we'll call that 166. Bang on. Right, we've got those. So let's put that into the system for you. So we load up for spirometry, which is what we're testing. And you're female, you're Caucasian. We've got your height as 166. And we have your weight as 81 kilos. And your age, as we know, is 24. Perfect. So that's all set. Now, in terms of doing the test, I'm going to have to ask you to wear this nose peg so that the air is only coming out of your mouth. So I'll ask you to put that on in a moment. We've got a brand new um, uh, mouthpiece for you with a uh, new bacterial seal. And we're going to put that in there. When you do take this, I want you to hold it uh, in your hands like so. Sitting up nice and straight with your legs uncrossed. And it's full breath all the way in, all the way out of your lungs. And we'll follow the graph as we're doing it. Okay. We're going to do that three times to make sure that everything, uh, we get the correct data. OK. So if I give you that. And if I put the nose piece on, excellent. And then sit up nice and straight, deep breath in, and hard and fast as you can. Okay, that was excellent. Okay, so we're going to do the best of three. So if you could do the same again, please. Excellent. Okay, and the final one for our three. Okay, that was the best of all three. Terrific. So, um, if we take that from you, okay, and we'll get you to bin that shortly. So, put that there. Take this over to the side. Right, so let's have a look at those results. So we can see here your FEV1 is 14% higher than normal. So that's how much you can breathe out in one second. We've got your FVC, so that's 4% more than normal. So that's how much air you can hold. And this is able to calculate your lung gauge, so that's under 25 which the machine is agreeing with. We've got normal spirometry. You've done a good blow. And the BTS criteria, so some of the respiratory specialists have this uh, criteria, that's all normal and is excellent. So we've given you a clean bill of health with regard to your lungs. Do you have any questions for me at the moment? No. Super. Well, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> hey.